Hello my dear friends, it's Yuri Tvetkov and today I have decided to make one more video about the golf statistics but um, this video will be not only about the golf statistics and mostly not about it but about the golf swings analysis of the three first players who are currently leading in the uh, driving distance statistics in the um, season 2020 um, currently we all have the problems with coronavirus and disconnection we have some additional timing for the additional analysis or additional theoretical uh, job activity around the golf uh, because our practice opportunity is a little bit limited in this connection maybe it's a good time to make analysis and to, to uh, use some theoretical ideas for improving our practice um, it's quite an interesting situation this season because uh, currently we have a new leader in driving distance uh, Brian, uh, Brian Deschamps who was not so strong in this component of the game last year and if we will take a look for the last year we will find that um, Brian was Brian was only on the um, 39 position in this component uh, 30, uh, 34 position excuse me and this component of the game and uh, it's a huge uh, difference with the current season uh, when we ha he have uh, 3, uh, 320 yards average distance more than 320 yards um, and uh, we need to say that last season he had 144 attempts for drivings um, and uh, this year um, he have 50, 52 so it's a uh, th three times almost difference but um, from the other side 52 drives it's it's well enough to um, and to understand that uh, his uh, distance really averaging but not depends from the uh, separate attempts um, so his uh, average distance currently is uh, 321.3 yards a very good distance and it's it's better than the best player had last year last season uh, Rory McIlroy is in, on the second position and the difference between them is just one yard and the Cameron champ is on the third position um, and uh, the difference between him and uh, Rory McIlroy is only 0.4 yards and the difference with the Brian Deschamps is 1.5 yards so they are very close and in this connection they can change those position inside them or maybe somebody else um, some other players will be involved in this uh, in, 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 in improvement of these statistics um, first of all I want to take a look for the posture of uh, those players um, I need to say that uh, for example the uh, Brian Deschamps have a absolutely straight le right left arm at the posture and uh, the right arm is also uh, mostly straight and uh, as we know he is making the backswing by starting it with the two straight arms and he is uh, making the huge arc by the two straight arms even before the situation when the just a second you see that even before the situation when the left arm is uh, and have position nine o'clock we see that his angle is um, between the between the arm and uh, club shaft is uh, less than 90 percent in this position and uh, the right arm is still almost straight in this position so it's uh, his sources of the um, additional leverage and of the so strong power um, in my opinion his swing is mostly relative with his uh, his uh, huge body and uh, additional weight against other players and uh, this component is much more strong for him because we can see that uh, his hips move 
is not so um, he have not so much separation um, as uh, other player not so much uh, as the um, Cameron Champ and the um, Rory McIlroy and his uh, swing looks um, you know that um, that less leverage than um, those players. And it's also interesting to see that um, it seems that his uh, left shoulder and the pivot point position is uh, not so highly, his weight is not transferred for the left side as the Cameron Champ, for example. He is mostly making turn over the middle of the stance, but not uh, on the right side. Uh, I mean the shoulders. And his shoulders and his hips are not so highly separated in this direction. And plus that, his legs are not so active uh, during this the, the the pivot during the transfer from the uh, um, from the backswing to the downswing. Um, as for the uh, Rory McIlroy and the Cameron Champ also. And this connection, his swing looks. Maybe not so highly complicated against uh, the swing of uh, those two the two plays. His body arc is not so serious as uh, um, as Rory and the Cameron uh, have also. And from the other position, if we will take a look very slow we will see that his uh, his arms and the shaft um, having the almost the straight line at the so guys, today we're going to have a look at the and he's taking a swing of posture. Bryson DeChambeau, current leader in the FedEx. So it looks that he's making his swing mostly not by hips. He's not separating his hips so seriously from the, his upper body. And this connection, it seems that um, his swing is not so, not so complicated, and not so difficult as the swing of the other players. So currently we would start from the starting position, we take a look for the uh, Rory McIlroy and we can see that uh, he's from down the line and front on. Now we know Bryson's uh, been a really good driver of the ball this year. That his uh, left arm uh, have a little bit different position at the um, during the posture and uh, you know that uh, he have a, a small from this view but very important sources of leverage, in my opinion. It's the a little bit coped left wrist when he taken a stance. I think that the Cameron champ have even more, uh, even more viewable uh, this uh, coped left wrist because um, you see that uh, his left arm is straight, but the wrist is a little bit bowed. Uh, excuse me, not bowed, but capped and uh, they, they broken in the this in, in the other other direction and this is a highly important source of the power because you know that he's making um, at this position at the posture he have uh, such position of the wrist but at the at the impact he have exactly different position of the wrist when his left uh, his left arm is bowed so hi everybody Craig Hanson excuse me um, so, Rory McIlroy, he's on the second position in this connection, we're looking for him. Get the hole! <laughs> Certainly, the Rory uh, have a huge nature speed, and uh, not only this reason is highly important because he have the almost uh, the quickest um, golf swing all over the all over the golf all over the place and the golf um, but it's also important that he have start to play at very early at very early age and in this connection he have much more uh, synapses than of nervous systems which um moving synapses which are involved in the making the golf swing and this connection it's also reason that he's not only have the quickest quick muscles uh, the big quantity 
but also he have uh, very good relationships of these muscles and of those of this uh, muscle system and joints with the, his brain and uh, in this connection for the um, average amateur golfers is quite difficult to um, to to make such a swing, to use such a swing for themselves, and um, in this case, for example, I am not looking for the for his uh, golf swing model because I understand that they have not uh, such a good nature speed and they have not so many you know those uh, you know synapses which are involved in this uh, in this um, making golf swing. It's uh, for me it seems that it's quite difficult to acquiring. Uh, such a uh, such a swing model for the um, uh, for the average uh, player and this connection um, his tempo is much more quick so uh, for the, the uh, people with the slower tempo as me for example his golf model I certainly understand that it's a huge and maybe close to the best one in the golf industry but from the other side it's quite difficult for use it and repeat it but anyway, it's necessary to take a look for some his difference with uh, according to uh, Brian Deschamps, for example, because we can see that uh, in this position when the left arm on nine o'clock, we also see that uh, the angle is not is less than 90 percent 90 degree and this connection it's we can also use this component to make the wider arc and uh, that it looks very useful for the distance but as you see rory is starting his um, his downswing more from hips move out of line uh, of the golf swing and uh, down and um, his legs are um, broken more, his knees are broken more and uh, in this connection his rotation of his upper body is in the different uh, plane that the Brian Deschamps because he, his shoulders, his left shoulder, leaning shoulder is going a little bit more down uh, because his hips going out and down and in this connection is giving him additional X factor and additional transition. And this connect so his model looks a little bit different for me than the Brian Deschamps. And this is also giving him. You can see that his right shoulder is rotating almost over the right feet. So the hips are rotating over the left hip, uh, left uh, left heel and the, uh, sh uh, the shoulders, the upper part of the body, um, the shoulders at head are rotating over the right. In this, ca this case, it's in, in my opinion, it's the best execution of the golf swing, the, bo the best swing model, and it's uh, very close to the model which the Cameron Champ also using, and um, uh, closer to the model uh, even which um, the uh, Jaco Nieman is using. Because you know that he even more include the um, more tilting uh, his shoulders uh, forward and uh, forward and uh, right. In this case, the body arc of the um, Rory is absolutely amazing, and it's different with those one which we can see. Um, uh, from the uh, in the swing of the uh, Brian de Champ, de Chambeau, sorry, huge body arc, he which is making him a huge power and uh, giving him a very good direction also. So the third player is a Cameron Champ. The Cameron Champ, Cameron Champ was a leader in the driving distance uh, last year and last year he had uh, quite a big pre 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 difference, uh, quite a bit preference against the Rory McIlroy because it was uh, more than four yards uh, in this connection 4.4 yards it's much more bigger difference that they have currently uh, so uh, I think that uh, the Cameron champ can um, 
try to be the leader in the dragon distance this year also so it will be very interesting struggle on this component of the game um, as we take a look for the um, we again in my opinion it's very good to try to look from this video because we see that uh, he have even more uh, coped uh, left wrist and uh, during the in stance before the starting the the, the, the downswing uh, so uh, um, in my opinion it's very important factor I'm trying to uh, play this way and I need to say that maybe it's um, not only the subject of his distance additional distance additional revelers but it's also um, influencing on his uh, approaching on his uh, proximity certainly in the driving distances maybe not so highly important factor but in my opinion uh, such a position is uh, responsible for the backside accuracy of the side side accuracy of the um, Cameron champ when he mentioned making the approaches on the green and um, um, in this component he is not so strong and as in in driving but I uh, certainly and uh, make play, make and play of the from the team um, but uh, certainly it's quite a difficult for the even for such a strong player for such a strong professional to stop himself from making such a swing model which is most powerful for him and which is giving him the most distance and maybe making him one of the most viewable player uh, in the golf in the in the current golf the model of the Cameron champ I will call it that uh, it's a new age model because um, he is transferring weight much more on the left side he is mostly working with the hips um, but not with the uh, not with the shoulders his shoulders are seriously he is tilting forward by shoulders and uh, he is rotating over the uh, rotating shoulders over the right uh, feet and uh, his rotating hips over the left uh, heel uh, so just a second we will try it a little bit early okay and this connection we can see that uh, uh, he have a little bit different model of the backswing also because we see that uh, he have nine percent degree of the between his uh, left arm and uh, his uh, the shaft of his club uh, in the position when the left arm is uh, looking for nine o'clock and in my opinion it's also the reason why his um, angle at the end of the and the end of the downswing is a little bit less he, he have uh, you know that very good angle in this position and uh, we can see that uh, the Cameron champ have absolutely different separation of his lower body from the upper body even in this position because you can see that his hips are going so highly down and uh, he his rotation uh, the the move of his left leg is uh, a little bit different from the from the Rory McIlroy because his uh, left knee is going inside and uh, it's uh, his left leg is almost parallel to the right leg uh, during the 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 backswing and we can see that uh, his uh, left foot is working a little bit different because you know that uh, he's rotating mostly over the uh, left heel and in this connection his fingers of the of, of the leg is uh, turning forward uh, so he is rotating a little bit different way you can see that it's 45 degree uh, that uh, the left fits uh, left fits is going going forward and he is his hips are in much more open position uh, during the impact and the um, first uh, 
points of seconds after the impact. And you can see that his shoulders are staying away and his connection to the body arc is um, amazing, um, such as the Rory McElroy. So we can see that his technique is maybe a little bit more a complicated, little bit more efficient. But from the other side, it is uh, if you have the time to study your golf swing, it's maybe better to spend your time exactly for the equalizing of the Cameron Champ model. Uh, plus that, um, it's very important that may, when you're making approaches, maybe you need not to stay in this position for approaches. For approaches, you can stay in the position when the um, such which the um, the Brian Deschamps is using. So the um, your left arm will be almost straight, or even maybe you know, such as the. Um, Dustin Johnson is using that uh, your left arm will be a little bit bowed. So in my opinion, this position, I need to talk about it again, uh, this position of his left arm is highly important for beginning of golf swing. I have tried and uh, I think the difference of distance, even for such clubs as the um, A iron, for example, uh, because in winter time I couldn't play with the driver, but even for the uh, for the eight iron um, is approximately 15 yards only from this position of the left here left uh, left wrist you can try it and you can find that it's um, exactly uh, different uh, different feelings and different talk and different different leverage um, i will try to make my video uh maybe tomorrow day after tomorrow and i will try to explain you additionally what i'm talking about uh, so thank you very much for your attention my video again uh, too longer than maybe it's necessary um, but from the other side I hope that it was reasonable um, plus that I will stay the links for the my um, um, videos about the golf statistics of the Cameron champ and Rory McElroy in the description to this video um, thank you very much for your attention um, uh, I hope that the uh, later parts of uh, this season will be much more useful for golfers and we can play um, on the gol golf courses all over the world without any restrictions. Um, so uh, save, your, save your health, uh, play the golf and uh, feel you happy and comfortable. See you. Bye-bye. Yo, Yuri.